Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News 2022 Low Income Taxpayer Clinic list now available. But first, an attempt at a joke. I apologize in advance. In heaven, there surely must not be any Internal Revenue Service IRS resulting in plenty of pure bliss. In fact, I imagine in heaven, pure bliss must be as common as gold and suffering as rare as muck. That last part, however, other way round when talking in earth terms. Talking about heaven's confusing. IR 2022-41, February 22nd, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service's Low Income Taxpayer Clinic, the LITC Program Office, announced today that its 2022 publication 4134 Low Income Taxpayer Clinic list, there's a link to that list here, is now available. IRS publication 4134 Low Income Taxpayer Clinic list provides information about LITCs, that being the Low Income Taxpayer Clinics, by geographic area, including contact information and details about the languages in addition to English in which each LITC offers services. Now an LITC can help a low income taxpayer clinic, LITC, there's a link to that here, represents individuals whose incomes are generally at or below 250% of the federal poverty line and who are seeking to resolve tax problems with the IRS, such as audits, appeals, and tax collection disputes. LITCs can represent taxpayers in court as well as before the IRS. They also can provide information about taxpayer rights and responsibilities in different languages for English as a second language ESL taxpayer. LITC program information. The LITC program is a federal grant program administered by the Taxpayer Advocate Service led by National Taxpayer Advocate Aaron M. Collins. Through the LITC program, the IRS awards matching grants of up to $100,000 per year to qualifying organizations. LITCs provide services for free or a small fee. They receive IRS grants but work independently to assist and advocate for taxpayers. Interested in becoming an LITC? Organizations interested in representing, educating, and advocating for low-income and ESL taxpayers can check out this video, there's a link to that video here, about applying for an, an LITC grant and review the most recent application package. There's a link to that application package here if you're interested. There are presently no LITCs in the states of Montana and North Dakota, the territory of Puerto Rico, as well as unserved counties in the states of Arizona, Florida, Idaho, Nevada, North Carolina, <coughs> Pennsylvania. Qualified organizations that will serve taxpayers in these states, territories, and, un and unserved counties are strongly encouraged to apply. Uh, a complete list of organizations that are currently funded and where they are located can be found by looking at publication 4134. There's a link to that publication here. Individuals who have questions or need additional information about the LITC program or application process can contact Aaron uh, Tauber with the LITC program office via email at, and there's an email address here. So I'll have a link to this in the description and you can find all this wonderful information if you're interested in this, including the contact information and the email information. And there'll be a link to this in the description.